Assalamu alaikum and a very good day everyone. My name is Muhammad Zaki bin Mas'ud and I'll be your instructor for part 5 topic 2. In this part, I will explain to you on the public key infrastructure that will support the digital signature and also the asymmetric encryption. A public key infrastructure or PKI is the motivation uh, is to facilitate the use of a public key cryptography. Three key players in the PKI system is a certificate owner who applies for the certificate, the CA or the certification authority which is issues the certificate that binds the owner identity to the owner public key value and the relying party who use on the certificate. The certification authority is to guarantee the authentication of a public key. The certificate can accompany all sender messages. The recipient must be directly or indirectly trust the CA and validate the certificate. The aim is to guarantee the authenticity of the public key. A method used is the CA guarantees the authenticity by signing a certificate containing user identity and a public key with a secret key. The requirements, all users must have an authentic copy of the Certification Authority public key. In the key management, key must be generated using a random or a pseudo-random process. Any key used by a communicating pair must be unique to them, which is only that particular public key can be used for that particular private key. And a key must be used for only for a purpose. For example, the same key should not be used for both encryption and authentication. Okay, the next I will describe to you on the key life cycle. Every key generated have to grow through each of the process in this key life cycle. The first one is the generation, which is the process of generating the public and the private key. The next is the distribution or distributing the public key to the right user. Then we need to store the private key, the usage of the private key, and also the public key, the change made in any of the public and the private key. And finally, if there is anything has exposed a threat to the public and the private key, the key will be destroyed and the process will continue with the next generation of the new key. One of the cryptography algorithm used in generating the digital signature is what we call as the RSA algorithm. In the RSA algorithm, the RSA algorithm is invented by Rivers, Shamir, and Adelman of MIT in 1977. It is a best known and widely used public key scheme. In an RSA, the ingredients that have inside the RSA algorithm is a two prime numbers and it is used to encrypt a message of M and to decrypt the cipher text of C. Even though it's widely used, they still expose to approaches to attack the RSA algorithm. One of it is by using the brute force key search which is the invisible given size of a number using a mathematical attack based on difficulty of computing big N and by factoring modulus N timing attack on the running of decryption and choosing a cipher text attack which is given the properties of the RSA. Other than the RSA algorithm, there is other standard encryption algorithm in use to protect data. One of it is a DES or the Data Encryption Standard. It's a block cipher that was selected by the National Bureau of Standards as an official federal information processing standard FIPS for the United States in 1976. A more advanced DES is what we call as a triple DES, apply the Data Encryption Standard DES cipher algorithm three times to each data block to strengthen its security. And finally, Another standard is what we call as the AES or the Advanced Encryption Standard, which is an encryption standard adopted by the US government nowadays. Even though cryptography is used to encrypt data or information, it's also exposed to threats or attacks. The final topic for this topic is the cryptography method attacks. 
there are several ways that any encryption data can be attacked. The first one is the ciphertext or only attacks guessing the plan text of using a frequency analysis. The next one is a known plan text which is guessed using a known plan text captured or a chosen plan text or a chosen ciphertext attack. There are also specific attacks that can be launched against encryption system. Brute force attacks or executive key search trying every possible combination or to replay attacks, taking encrypted information and playing it back at a later point in time or by using the man in the middle attacks which capturing the information in between the sender and also the receiver and of course, if the cryptology algorithm itself is weak it can be somehow attacked by using a fault in its own crypto system Well guys we are at the last slide of this session. Hope this session has given you some new knowledge. See you next time. Assalamualaikum and a very good day.